Scorpio, welcome to Heart Spacer and Astrology. I hope everybody's doing well. Scorpio, this uh, reading is for you for the year of 2024, for the year ahead. Now, I kept hearing rapid changes while I was sitting in your energy, Scorpio. There will be rapid changes in 2024, and I'm getting that. For example, right now, if you're struggling, finding a job, trying to create a more stable life for you. 2024 is going to open up the doors to a lot of uh, to a lot of choices, a lot of opportunities in your way. Let's see. Let's get into your spread. I'm going to use the crystal mandala oracle to see what needs to come through for you. Archon, uh, Barbello, and Picture Jasper. Support. See? There will be support coming your way in 2024 from things, people, uh, situations that you definitely do not expect. Okay. Thank you. And then relief and repair. Yes, 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 yes. I'm getting that you're struggling with something, Scorpio, right now in 2023, the end of 2023. There's a lot of overwhelm, stress, anxiety I'm getting. There will be support coming your way. Your spirit guides will show up in a human form, I heard. <laughs> Beautiful. And uh, you are going to feel that. You will see that a lot of the doors that were shut for you, they will open up. Let's read a couple of uh, messages from the book. Support number nine. We bring you the gift of support. Our support is available to you on all levels. We offer spiritual support of inspired ideas, unconditional love, and divine energy. We offer psychological support as we assist you in upgrading your belief systems to ones that enhance your ability to fulfill your divine destiny. We offer emotional support through spiritual friendship, unconditional acceptance, and unlimited compassion. We offer physical support by providing for your material needs, for nourishment, shelter, security, and safety. Yes, we are able to support you with peace and with prosperity in subtle and very practical ways. Notice how much easier it is to live your life with courage when you know that no matter what, you shall be provided for and what you need is only ever a prayer away. I'm getting being intentional with uh, how you ask spirit to help, okay? Very focused in your manifestations and set your intentions whenever you are asking spirit, source, God, however you want to call it. When you ask for something to come into your reality, set intentions, be focused, and always concentrate, Scorpio, on what you want not on what you don't want, not what brings you a lot of anxiety in your life. Try to try to detach yourself uh, from uh, this anxiety and depression that I'm feeling right now, okay? And one of the healing techniques that you can do every time, every day, is meditation. I feel like meditation can help you tremendously, Scorpio. All right, 36. So we have 9 9. 36 uh, breaks down into a 9. 9 9, number 99. It's significant for you, Scorpio. Relief and repair. <clears throat> we bring you the blessings of relief and repair. Our warmth and nurturing will restore and rebalance your body, mind, and soul when the light of spirit burns too brightly. Spiritual light is like the light of the sun. It brings life and joy, but too much can burn. If that happens to you, you will feel overwhelmed, overheated, overexcited, or overstretched mentally, physically, or emotionally. We will help you recover and increase your ability to be exposed to spiritual light again in future without becoming overloaded or burnt out. We ask you to soften and relax into our rich red energy now, which nurtures you with the cooling, restorative life force of the Earth Mother. We shall help you naturally discharge excess energy whilst we revive, strengthen, and fortify you with our nourishing grace. Relief and repair. You're being called to uh, concentrate on this card for a couple of seconds and take in this beautiful color. It says Ascended Master Mataji and Crimson Cuprite. Hopefully I pronounced that right. Relief and repair. Beautiful. I'm feeling like 
even your DNA is being repaired right now, your ancestral DNA. I'm going to take a couple of energies and messages from the Lantern of the Oracle. We have for Scorpio for 2024. We have key to intimacy. Intimate love is a core need to be met in relationship to ourselves and those closest to us. The journey to intimacy often includes learning what love is not. Mm. We have radical curiosity, seeing as if for the first time every time. Eternal gatekeeper, acknowledge, assert and protect what is right for you. Mm. And trusting tricksters, yuck. The trickster's only power is your trust. You're always free to withdraw it. So you've put a lot of trust maybe in a connection, in a person, and you're being called to look deeper, look closer into what kind of connection, how this person is feeding, feeding from their energy, if there is a balance to give and take, right? And trust seems to be the one thing that's not there. You are either you are either the one not trusting this person or they are the one not trusting you and so they are creating this manipulative game uh, that's just like a circle. It's it's never ending. I feel the need to read a little from the Eternal Gatekeeper. 32. Acknowledge, assert and protect what is right for you. Let's read the Guardian's message here. Every moment is an opportunity to choose again. To live in alignment with the light of your heart and spirit self is the greatest gift you can give to yourself and the world. Every moment is an opportunity to choose again. If you are finding yourself in a position that you don't feel comfortable, happy, safe, then it's time for you to remove this trickster's energy and to trust yourself more than anything else. We're going to get into a spread, Scorpio. We're going to pull out seven cards and then we'll come back and discuss each energy, each placement, and uh, we'll clarify as needed, okay? So, be right back, beautiful soul. back beautiful souls let's see let's get into the spread then so in the sunset we have lessons from your previous year I heard you've learning the hard way you've learned something about yourself the hard way you have been put uh, to test by people around you by spirit uh, a lot of times in a lifetime Scorpio I'm getting a lot of uh, forgiveness that you needed to learn Forgiveness, self-forgiveness, but forgiveness of people that hurt you, that at one moment in time did uh, abandon you, okay? And so I'm receiving this beautiful forgiveness energy, surrendering to what is, learning to give yourself, you know, that beautiful uh, love, that beautiful unconditional love, learning to be strong in your truth and in your power, but I'm also receiving this with the Six of Cups. I'm getting um, that there has been a soulmate in your life for quite some time that you had a couple of challenges with. Okay, let's see. I want to clarify. Yes. Wow. You have went through a lot of challenges, but I what I'm feeling here is that support relief and repair it's coming in 2024 for you Scorpio this test that spirit and the source has put you in this lifetime just tells you how strong and how resilient you are to be able to go through so many challenges one after another 
there's a big release that's going to happen so you can look forward and towards your new future. Five of Pentacles, it's this lack, right? It has something to do with money, not having enough financial security, so that really weighs on you. It weighs on uh, your mental state because you are so, right now you're so rooted in the 3D matrix because you don't have the basics, right? That's what I'm getting. Maybe you're struggling to keep a job or to find a job. There were a little too many challenges in the in the last five years, I heard, that brought you to your knees. That's what I'm getting. You've learned how to restore your strength. Do not trust anybody that you feel it's manipulative, that you feel is trying to play games with you, that you feel you cannot fully trust as well, okay? You're always free to withdraw your trust. Okay, let's keep going. Five of uh, Swords and the Empress. We have in the horizon. What can uh, you expect in the next year? I'm feeling you're pulling away from any battles, from any fights, from any uh, dramatic uh, connections that you have in your life. But interestingly enough, I'm also feeling that there is a um, mother trauma wound that you're going to recognize and release. There's something about your mother that you're holding some sort of a, of a wound, of a trauma, that you need to look at, okay, in 2024, because it's holding you back. It's holding you back from you progressing in your life. It's holding you back from you functioning from this uh, peace place, from you choosing love, from you choosing yourself from you choosing peace instead of um, getting yourself engaged in different fights, in different overwhelming situations. And this mother wound seems to be very significant in this lifetime, Scorpio. Let's see, what is this? Five of Swords and Empress. So we got Eight of Cups, which is an emotional journey moving away and moving towards Nine of Cups, right? Two of Wands and Ace of Wands. Decisions will put you in the spotlight. That's what I'm getting. Decisions will have to be made regarding regarding a journey of self, okay? A journey of healing. And I'm getting this forceful nature as well. You're finally really stepping up into your authenticity. That's what I'm getting, Scorpio, with the Two of Wands. You are finally now ready to look at this trauma wound that you have uh, with your mother and to release and to repair it in such a way where you are now able to manifest the lifestyle that you are looking for. Ace of Wands, it's newness, it's your passions, it's your creative skills, it's a genius idea. Ace of Wands it is, is this spark of divine. And from this spark of divine, you can manifest, you can create anything you want. So there's a breakthrough here. There's a breakthrough while you are maybe traveling somewhere or being pulled to move in a new country maybe, new city. You are going to realize something about your mother, about this trauma wound that you are holding on to, and then you're going to be able to release it. Let's see, moving on, we have in the obstacle for 2024, we have Two of Swords and Page of Pentacles. Do not settle for less, do not dim your light. You have an incredible capability to see through people, to see what's ahead, what's in the future for you. This Two of Swords uh, comes with a lot of doubt and fear, but it has nothing to do with your divine light, right? You know what's ahead. You, you don't have to sit in this energy, right? Page of Pentacles tells me that there is a seed that you are um, right now working at or thinking about, a seed that you are planting that you will harvest a little later in, uh, in 2024, okay? Because there's a challenge that you have to face, and I'm feeling that these two of swords, it's no energy for you to sit in. You need to take your blindfolds off, and you need to really step into your psychic abilities, Scorpio. 
you are a water sign, you can go really deep underground to look at your shadow in the eye and you can come out of that victorious. Let's see, Two of Swords and Page of Pentacles. Eight of Wands. King of Pentacles. Beautiful. So we have movement, travel. I heard satisfactory movement. We have temperance, which is healing. I love that. King of Pentacles. Uh, you may be dealing with an earth sign. There's something that it's going to be healed within yourself or with an earth sign, Taurus, Capricorn or Virgo. Once again, this uh, sword energy, this being stuck, not being able to see what's ahead or feeling, um, feeling like you are in a cage. You need to transcend that energy, okay? This is the obstacle that you have to work on. You have a seed. You have this beautiful opportunity, this gift that Spirit is showing you. And the only thing that you have to do is take the seed move out of this stagnation, of this uh, feeling of being caged, not being free, into this wild, uncaged and resilient energy. You are here to learn that you can transcend this Eight of Swords, Two of Swords, you can transcend this fear, this doubt, this anxiety. If you uh, embody unconditional love, compassion and self-acceptance and no judgment, no judgment, that's probably one of the toughest things, right? To not judge yourself, to not judge the people around you. Three of Wands, it's in the strength. How to harness your inner power. Three of Wands is about expansion opportunities. It's about you knowing those ships are coming towards you. You knowing that you've done your share of hard work, your share of repair, your share of shadow work. Three of Wands. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Three major arcanas out of four. Devil, Judgment, Tower, Five of Wands. This struggle is mainly internal, I have to say, Scorpio. Your guides are always with you, supporting you. Your guides are orchestrating a plan that you may not know right now, okay? This five of wands seems an internal struggle that it that will come to an end. Your strength will be shown through this judgment energy, renewal, a last call to action, coming to full clarity and understanding about something. And then we have the tower, which is major change, upheaval, uh, crumbling of foundations. But what I'm feeling here is that like this is this big poof out of your mental state because you, I feel Scorpio, your mental state is keeping you caged. That's why you're not able to push through, to have this breakthrough regarding what's to come, regarding this new life that you can manifest if you shift your perspective, okay? The tower will show you the way. The tower will show you the way with a, with a big bang. <laughs> Yeah. All right. Let's keep going. We have seven of cups here. And this is in the advice. Lessons you learned last year. I had to leave this in reverse. I was being told to leave uh, the seven of cups in reverse. This is extreme clarity. No more overthinking. Not knowing which way to go. What is the best way. Uh, what is the best cup for you, okay? You are finally choosing one cup, which is the best cup for you, and you are no longer living in delusions or illusions. You are no longer, you are no longer tricked by the trickster. Let's clarify this. The advice. The advice. See, Two of Pentacles, and we have this at the bottom of the deck as well. We have Two of Pentacles, Five of Cups, the Sun, wow, and Ten of Pentacles. When you shift your perspective, okay, from this uh, Five of Cups, which is loss, uh, regret, disappointment, into the Sun, which is healing, happiness, being grateful for what you have, 
knowing that you have the truth within yourself, then you can tap into this stillness energy that I'm inviting you to do, Scorpio. You need to start meditating if you're not. You need to connect with your higher self because there's a lot of lessons that you've learned that you are healing and repairing and 2024 will show you the way. 2024 will bring in the sun for you. And this big fat Ten of Pentacles, which is legacy, abundance, money, safety, a beautiful uh, family feeling like you, a place where you belong, a place where you can rebuild, repair, remake. Wow. Yes, Scorpio. All the struggle and uh, pain has not been in vain, I promise you. Nine of Wands and Five of Wands. See, there's a lot of... We have Five of Wands twice here, which tells me there is this internal struggle that you have to really feel it, look at it, observe it, try to find the core, the culprit, and then release that. Let's clarify. Five of Wands, Five of Wands, Knight of Swords. I'm getting that for some of you, you just want to cut corners, you just want to go there, do that, have that. However, we need to learn something along the way. You will get where you need to, Scorpio. You will. It's important for you to not cut corners, to really figure it out, ask yourself, what's the lesson in this? What's the lesson in this struggle? What's the lesson that I have to learn in this challenge? Then this Ten of Cups will show up in your life. Full happiness, the ideal family, the ideal marriage, whatever you want this Ten of Cups to be. Okay, one more. And King of Swords, which we'll have in the surprise, actually. So maybe an air sign that will be a big support for you in 2024. But also I'm receiving this really you stepping into your strength, you having the clarity to cut through any trickster energy, you having the energy to say enough is enough, I do not trust you, I want you out of my life, being very discerning regarding the energies that you are going to allow in your life going forward, okay? Let's see, the surprise, we have Queen of Swords, Four of Cups, Ace of Wands once again, so if you have special skills, right? Music, art, uh, whatever it is for you, you're going to make a lot of money doing that. All right, that's what I'm getting here. I feel like this Queen of Swords, it's either you, your higher self coming in to tell you, hey, you have the answers. You have what it needs to create a life that you want, okay? You do not have to sit in this Four of Cups energy, which is dissatisfaction, boredom, just feeling a sense of unhappiness and, and uh, dissatisfaction. Ace of Wands is the door towards exactly the life that you want to create, okay? And Ace of Wands is whatever passions you have, you're going to make money with that. You're going to find your safety through your Ace of Wands. Let's clarify. Four of Swords, Knight of Wands, Page of Wands. Wow, Page of Swords. This takes me back to the radical curiosity. Seeing as if for the first time every time, having a very childlike uh, energy here, be the student in this lifetime, even if you know more than a lot of other people. Death, there's your energy here. Death, it's repair. Death, it's relief. Relief into repair. When you start uh, releasing, letting go of energies, letting go of uncertainties, letting go of this uh, energy of anxiety and thinking that good luck will never come on your street, you need to let go of those uh, system beliefs, okay? Embody self-love, embody unconditional self-love and embody this idea that you already have. 
what you're looking for. You just have to work with it, work with that energy. Step out of this negative feeling. Uh, Scorpio. I am a Scorpio moon and I know that we can get deep into what bothers us and we can stay there for way too long. We need to shift. Whenever you see yourself getting caught into negative thinking and uh, critical thinking, you know, allowing your ego to talk negatively to yourself, whatever it is, okay, you need to snap back into unconditional love because you are divine light and the more you can focus and feel the things that you want to bring into your life the easier you're going to manifest them and the faster you're going to get them okay so transformation it's coming your way be open to learning be the student of life okay let's get a couple of tips like and subscribe to the notification bell let me know how this energy is resonating with you, Scorpio. 2024 seems to be a breakthrough year. It does. Okay, let's see. What else do we have for Scorpio? We have bird. Flying news is on the way. Good news, I feel. Jug, light-hearted, carefree time. Beautiful. We have box, you will receive a gift. Mm -hmm. See? Support, gift, relief, things are going to be made right for you, Scorpio. Valley, the personal strength and peace that assures success. Okay, look at that. Happiness. And it fell on Nine of Cups, which is wish fulfillment and happiness. This is your Scorpio in 2024. We have Lily, spiritual love. Ooh, I love that. Elephant, a long journey, either physical or mental, will leave you wiser at the end. Yes, you can take this as a literal uh, journey, but also this spiritual journey that you are on, and we are all on, it will leave you wiser at the end. Bread, period of prosperity and abundance. Yes, go Scorpio. Let's get... A couple of energies and messages from um, the Whispers of Love. We have simple acts of kindness. Kindness energizes you and brings happiness to those around you. Be kind to yourself and others. Scorpio, practice compassion. Yes, yes, yes. We've been talking about compassion here. See things from a fresh perspective. When we start having compassion for ourselves and others, you will see how healing your body and your energetic field will become and you will see how you will shift from, you know, you identifying with the people around you, with the emotions, you will start shifting and you will see things as an observer. Not identifying yourself with the emotions, just observing, identifying, healing and releasing what's no longer in alignment with you, right? We need to hear what your soul needs to tell you. What's your soul's truth for 2024? For Scorpio, please. We got two for you. Let's see. What do I resist feeling right now? We have to feel it to heal it. Yes, so important, Scorpio. In order to let go of pain, we first have to honor its existence. Emotions are like waves. Some are soft, some are fierce, some are layered, and some will sweep you off your feet. When we allow ourselves to feel it all, we can then release what no longer serves us. Allow yourself to feel this wave. Let it move through you. Let it move through you, no matter how long it lasts. Then release it back into the ocean. Feel it, heal it, enjoy the sweet freedom within your soul. Yes! What can I do to make a difference? What keeps you up at night? What makes you cringe when you think about it? Such that, such that every ounce of you screams no more. Where can you create purpose out of your pain? Make a difference in someone's life today, big or small, because all of it makes a difference. So this card, Capricorn had this card as well. You might want to check Capricorn if you're dealing with a Capricorn or you have a lot of Earth in your chart. 
I do feel like you need to stop resisting your feelings. You need to stop running away from that anxiety, from that fear, from that doubt. You need to really look at these emotions right in the eye to be able to transmute it, okay? You can do it, Scorpio. If there's a sign that can go really deep into the shadows, it's you. I promise you will come out of it victorious and more wise. Thank you so much, beautiful Scorpio. Happy 2024. Take care of yourself and I hope to see you back here at the Heart Space very soon. Ciao.